Hello tout le monde, hello l'équipe, c'est Freddy Nio, c'est retrouve pour le chapitre 2 de la carrière WWE. J'espère que vous êtes chauds, en tout cas ça va être un épisode de fou furieux. Du coup on va commencer tout ça tout de suite avec Freddy Nio et Big Girl. Donc voilà, chapitre 2, on va le débuter, c'est parti, let's go c'est le seul qu'on s'est allé de toute façon, on l'a déjà fait l'autre avec, euh, avec le mec, donc c'est parti. I just wanted to congratulate you, Red. You really deserve this. Je voulais juste te féliciter, tu l'as vraiment bien mérité. Thanks, Natty. I know we had some differences over the years, but we always worked them out in the ring. Merci, Natty. Je sais qu'on a eu des mots au fil des années, mais on a toujours réglé nos différences sur le ring. Yeah, except that one time we got into it backstage. Oui, sauf la fois où on s'est expliqué dans les coulisses. <rire> J'avais oublié cet épisode. I didn't. You threw Pas moi. Tu m'as balancé dans une caisse à roulettes. Oh, yeah. C'est vrai, désolé. Sorry. What were we even fighting about? The usual stuff. Oh, la Who routine. Better, the title. Pour savoir qui était la meilleure pour le titre. Parce que tu disais que tu étais la meilleure superstar féminine jamais passée par Calgary. Démarrer la bagarre ou ne pas démarrer la bagarre Bon, on va démarrer la bagarre, hein. La seule issue, c'est la bagarre, mon beau. C'est parti. Alors là, on est dans les coulisses, là. Pour la, la baston. Ouh, on commence déjà à se faire enchaîner. Allez, on est motivé Natalia, là, on dirait. On prend cher. Il est mis par KO. Oh, ouais, je dois la mettre KO. Obligé. Alors, on va contrer. Ah, J'arrive pas à contrer. Allez, 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 voilà, on, on commence à mettre des coups là, on se dégage, on se dégage, et on va commencer à enchaîner. Voilà, on rentre par la porte, qu'est-ce qui se passe, bro On est dans les vestiaires là. On va les mettre, ouh, ça enchaîne les gros coups de pied, allez, encore un coup de pied. Oh, elle m'a contré, dans la poubelle, je me suis pris. Oh là 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 là, là je vais prendre cher là, je vais me faire éclater. Elle, elle est énervée. Elle a pris la mallette qui fait mal. Ouh, j'ai réussi à esquiver. Oh, heureusement. Voilà, je ressors plein de coups de pied. Ah, mon genou, il prend cher. Mon genou, il prend très très cher. Le genou qui prend cher. L'enchaînement de patates. Allez. Et là, ça va être bon ou pas Là, ça va être bon ou pas Just breaking down the opponent. Toujours pas. Drop kick hits the mark. She is just too Allez, viens prendre ton KO. Viens prendre ton KO. Oh là 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 là. Wow, not so fast. Allez, voilà. Encore éclaté encore une fois aux deux. Wow, what impact. Allez, il y a le finisher. Allez, le finisher. Peut-être ça va être le bon là cette fois-ci. Voilà, on a réussi enfin. Mais que ce fut dur quand même. Hein. Hey, it's X-Pac. Just keep walking, we don't have time. We always have time for X-Pac. Besides, you can't just ignore a WWE Hall of Famer. I can. Trey. Pac, what's going on? Hey guys, looking good. You too. Thanks, I'm on this new mustard only diet. As in mustard is the only condiment you use? No, as in I only eat mustard. I've already dropped like seven pounds. That's interesting. But enough about me. This is your big night. I swear it was just like yesterday when I first saw you two on the indie scene. Yeah, at that point we were only a couple years in. And I was about 30 years in. But I could still go today if I had to. I'm telling you, this diet's legit. I guess you could say you can cut the mustard, huh? Anyway, we wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for you. So, thanks. I'm sure you'd have been fine with it without my help. Trey, I don't think I can say the same for you. You were kind of the drizzling craps back then, no offense. 
No, it's true. And I wasn't just a drizzle. I was more like a torrential downpour of crap. Red was always ahead of me from the moment we started. Our very first list item, train at the dungeon. Are you excited as I am? I don't think that's possible considering you've already had three energy drinks before we've even left town. <laughs> but this is gonna be cool. I know. Think about how many top superstars came through Calgary. The Hearts, Edge, Jake the Snake Roberts, Rowdy Roddy Piper, and we're next. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We have a long way to go before we can be mentioned in the same sentence as those legends. Everyone has to start somewhere though, right? And the dungeon is a great place to start. I still can't believe your parents were okay with all this. What happened to them wanting you to go to college? They changed their minds. Just like that? Just like that. Huh. Well, that's good. Hey, pull over real quick. Bathroom break already? No, I want to show you something. See that sign? Our faces are going to be on it someday. You really think we can become more famous than the inventor of the paper toilet seat cover? He put a lot of butts in seats. And when we make it to WWE... Groaning in pain. <laughs> that's my stomach. For the past two days, I've had nothing but moose jerky, maple puffs, and poutine. Yikes. Look, I just want to say, I know I've been a little skeptical, but now that we're here, I can see us doing this. I mean, once Bret Hart hears how far we drove, he's going to have no choice but to welcome us right in for training. So, thanks for pushing me on this. Of course. Well, here we go. <sighs> hey there. I bet you're here for Bret Hart, eh? Uh, hello! Uh, and yes, he's going to train us to be wrestlers. Eh? I'm not sure I'm using that correctly. Is Bret home right now? He is! Hang on a sec. Bret! Two lovely people are here for wrestling training! He'll be right down. I'm sure he's just putting his tights on, gelling up his hair, finding his sunglasses. He's gotta look the part, you know. Of course. So are you Bret's... housekeeper? Okay, seriously, guys? I'm messing with you. So, Brett's not home? No. And he hasn't been for years. The hearts don't live here anymore. But you said... This kind of thing happens, like, once a month. And I like to have a little fun when I break the news. How is that fun? We just spent three days driving here. And I gave myself severe stomach issues. At this point, we'd settle for one of the more obscure Hart brothers or even a distant cousin. Like I said, none of them are here. You seem like nice kids. Stupid, but nice. Next time, do some research before you decide to drive all the way up here. Jeez, so much for Canadian hospitality. I thought you said you checked all this out online. I did. I mean, I searched for dungeon and wrestling, and then some really weird stuff came up and I kind of got sidetracked. Point being, don't look at my browser history. But hey, we came all the way here. We should at least get a picture. Eh, can we do another one? I was making a weird face. Probably on account of the stomach pain. Maybe you were right about us trying to become wrestlers. We've already failed at the first thing on our list. And maybe we're not cut out for this. Hey, wait, we can't just give up that easily. I have an idea! I've done some stupid stuff in my life, but that takes the cake. <laughs> it wasn't our finest moment. <laughs> But since I had a dad who only looked at the rewards section on the credit card bill, we were able to stay in Calgary and learn from a former wrestler who, at least according to him, trained with the hearts back in the day. I think he just ran next to one on a treadmill once. So that's how you guys hooked up with Riley Flash. Yeah. After striking out at the dungeon, it was kind of our only option. Even though Riley can be a bit much sometimes, he gave us the foundation we needed to get here today. He also gave us ringworm with his dirty mats, but that's a... Whole other story. Allez, c'est parti pour le combat. Un 2 contre 2. Ouh, ça commence bien là. Oh là 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 là, on lui fait du sale.
à l'intéressant de la santé de Josie Diane dans le rouge. On n'y est pas encore. Hein. Elle a encore beaucoup de vie. Il faut qu'on essaye à de la faire descendre dans le rouge. On va les mettre plein de coups. Voilà, là je pense que sa santé va prendre un. Allez, encore un petit peu. On lui écrase l'homoplate. On va la mettre dans le rouge directement. Je ne veux pas qu'elle passe le relais à son équipier parce que là, ah bah c'est trop tard. Voilà, elle est descendue. Vas-y, remonte. Remonte sur le ring. On t'enchaîne. On te met dans le rouge. Passe pas le relais. Non, 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 non. Non, non, passe pas le relais. Il faut que tu remontes directement. On va te remettre de l'autre côté. Voilà. Reste loin de ton équipier. Allez, on y est presque, elle est presque dans le rouge. Allez, remonte dans le ring. Remonte dans le ring. Ah, je crois qu'elle a passé le relais. Heureusement, elle n'a pas passé le relais. Ah, on y est presque, voilà. Euh, faites une prise debout à Josie dans le ring. Non, non, j'ai pas envie de lui faire un finish là. Je veux qu'elle se relève et que je lui fais une prise debout. Vas-y, lève-toi. Voilà, prise debout. Voilà, ça c'est bon. On passe le relais à Fredinho. Il a failli tomber. Donc, qu'est-ce qu'il fait Quel imbécile ah, Il est trop nul mon joueur. Push off and roll backwards. You can pin him like that. Il est claqué au sol mon joueur. C'est un truc de fou. It's all right. Yeah, you did good. You did good. Catch your breath. We'll get him next time, all right? You good? Guys, come here. We need to talk. Is it about your disgusting ring mat? Because I feel like it's making me itch all over. Hey, what was that for? For playing to an imaginary crowd. It cost you the match. Red, great job. Keep it up. Remind me why I show up here every day to get tortured? That's not torture if you're paying for it. Now, what I didn't tell you was that match was actually a tryout. For what? Is WWE coming to town? Not quite. It was a tryout for the local Winterfest that's coming up. The organizers asked me to put on a wrestling event. That's great. Who are we gonna face? I wouldn't mind a rematch against those two. Slow down. After what I just saw, only one of you was ready for their first official match. Sorry, Red. You'll get your chance soon. <laughs> uh, Red's the one who's ready, not you, doughhead. What? When it comes to in-ring ability, Red's got you beat by a kilometer. Isn't that less than a mile? Oh, thanks for the conversion, Albert Asswipe. Bottom line, you're too focused on the entertainment side of things. Well, maybe you weren't focused enough on the entertainment side of things. Didn't you only appear in WWE, like, three times? Uh, four, if you count the time I helped carry Macho Man to the ring on his fancy chair gimmick. You mean a sedan? No, it was a chair, not a car. Either way, I was in WWE four more times than you'll ever be. I'll make it there someday. It's on our list. Oh, yeah, and someday I'm gonna poop golden nuggets. No, oh, no offense, Red. Whatever, you'll see. Congrats on getting your first match. You know I'll be there cheering you on. Thanks, I know. Uh, speaking of cheering her on, since you like running your mouth so much, you can accompany her to the ring as a manager. That actually might be a better fit for you long term. A manager? That's not what I'm here for. You'll figure this out. I know it. Oh, one more thing. I need to know what to call you so they can advertise the event. Oh, that's easy. I'm sticking with Red. Kids started calling me that in high school because of my temper, but I'm gonna turn it into something positive. Okay. Man, what about you? Sticking with Denver? Hmm, I don't know. Sounds too regional. And omelette. 
I know. How about uh, Albert Asswipe? Nah. Carl Botch, on account of all the moves you botch. Too hot <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. How about I pay tribute to my wonderful trainer and call myself Riley Flash Jr.? Oh, that ain't happening. Do you have any other nicknames? Trey! No, no, don't listen to her. I kind of like that. And you can spell it T-R-E, so it's kind of like three in Spanish, as in getting a three count to win a match. Which probably won't happen very often for you, but you get it, right? Yeah, I get it. Great. Then Trey it is. Thanks a lot. No problem, Trey. And hey, I just realized we can cross something off our list. Come up with awesome wrestling names. Man, I'm freezing. What are the chances I can bring this out to the ring with me? Zero. But you should be plenty warm out there with all the hot air you produce. <laughs> Can't believe you didn't have a bigger career with singers like that. Hi, sorry I'm late. I had to make like seven connections to get here from Orlando. Oh, hey, Peyton, no problem. I appreciate you doing me this favor. Red and Trey, this is Peyton Royce. We met when she trained here in Calgary and now she recently signed with NXT. So who am I facing tonight? And by the way, it's cold enough to freeze the tail off a brass kangaroo. Can I have this heater out there for my match? Oh, sure thing, Peyton. You'll actually be facing Red tonight in her first ever match. Wow, it, it's an honor. We actually watch you on NXT all the time. And at least when my friend Trey here isn't hogging the laptop and watching weird videos of who knows what. <laughs> She's kidding. I told you to stay out of my browser history. Wait, did you say this is her first ever match? Yeah, Red's only been training for about three months, but don't take her lightly. She's really good. Three months? It took me longer than that to get here. And what kind of stupid name is Red? If anything, with your lack of experience, you should call yourself Green. <laughs> what? Anything she says with that accent is funny. After I'm done with you tonight, you'll understand why they call me Red. Because all that pretty white snow out there will be stained red with your blood. And then every time it snows, the children who were here tonight will be reminded of the carnage they saw and refuse to go outside. And after you spend weeks in the hospital and are finally able to drag your broken body onto the airplane back to Orlando, the pilot will be so terrified by the sight of your mangled face, he will lose control of the plane, sending it crashing down to the earth whoa, and- Whoa, 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 whoa. I think she got the point. You have major issues. Okay, there. Uh, what the heck was that? The old hothead red comes out when she gets angry. We've been working on dialing it back. I like the intensity, but just focus that on your match, okay? And if you can take a break while you're painting the snow red with Peyton's blood, maybe stop and soak everything in. This is your first match after all, which is a big deal. It's on our list. Sorry, you're right, and I'm happy you'll be out there with me. I'm gonna go stretch. Okay. On tire les oreilles. Ben, L'objectif est terminé. On a réussi déjà à la mettre dans le jaune. Frapper Peyton quand elle est étendue sur le ring. Ça s'est fait aussi. Oui, là par contre, elle se révolte et on prend cher. Qu'est-ce qui se passe là À la prise chaise ah, Notre perso là, il nous a sauvé la vie. Faire des soins de la santé de Elton Fund dans le rouge. Allez, remonte, remonte. We'd like to thank our local sponsors, 
Secondhand Dukes, Larry Zamboni Driving School, and of course, Riley Flash. Ah, le bras, le bras, le bras, le bras. And bring your ticket stop to Riley's for a free picture of Mr. Flash himself. After purchase of a commemorative frame for only $19.95. Allez, on lui pète le dos. Voilà, là, ça, elle prend cher quand on fait ça. Allez, encore. On va la mettre dans le rouge, là. Obligé qu'on la mette dans le rouge. On y est presque. Oh, j'ai pris, pris cher. Voilà, on la met dans le rouge. Objectif terminé. Un plus un coup de boue. Après, ton sur le ring. Faut qu'on la relève alors, pour la mettre debout. Voilà. On a mis le coup debout. Good day, Peyton. Koalas are cute, but they have terrible personalities, kind of like you. And uh, uh, the Great Barrier Reef is more like the just okay Barrier Reef. And, 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 and boomerangs are a shame. They never come back when you throw them. Uh, I really don't know that much else about Australia. Uh, oh, 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 your chain of steakhouses is severely overrated. Quel fou ce mec. On va gagner là, qu'est-ce qui se passe Ah, dommage. Gagner sur un tombé ou une finition. Elle en y est presque. Je vais lui mettre un, je vais lui mettre un finisher ou un, un coup spécial. Voilà, là je l'ai pas par terre, mais il faut que je mette le, le plus spécial là avant de lui mettre. Euh... Allez, relève-toi. Comme ça, je te mets le plus spécial, s'il te plaît. Bah, tant pis si tu te relèves pas, je t'enchaîne encore. Hein. Allez, relève-toi. Il y a un coup spécial à mettre, moi. Voilà le coup spécial. On va le mettre plus fini, cher. Espérons que ça passe. Et les finisher, il passe. Et là, on va le mettre le tomber. Et la victoire. Magnifique à la carrière là qui débute plutôt plutôt bien avec Big Girl et avec Fredinho. Parce que la liste a commencé à se compléter. Hein. That was awesome. It was everything I've ever dreamed of. I'm numb with excitement, or maybe I'm just frozen, but either way, I get to cross two things off our list. And you did it without emotionally scarring any children. <laughs> Wrestle first match and win first match. Nice of your mate to help you out there tonight. Maybe if I see you again, I'll have some backup too. I look forward to it. By the way, I didn't really mean any of the things I said out there, especially about you having the personality of a koala. You're way more pleasant, and I'm actually a big fan of your people's blooming onions. You're a total bogan. Wait, is that a good thing? I don't think so. Congrats on your first win, Red. I knew you wouldn't let me down. And you're not going to either, Trey. What do you mean? It's been a last minute change of plans. My surprise opponent for tonight was injured. Is that who I think it is? That's right. It's me. 
the king of Cuteville, Prince Pretty. Unfortunately, I slipped on some ice and stubbed my turning toe. Your turning toe? Yes, the most important toe, E.I. The toe one uses to turn on a runway? Ugh, I can't stand non-models. Anyway, it's a shame all these uggos here tonight will no longer get to see me compete against Riley Flash. Not that it would have been much of a contest. I mean, look at this man. I have let myself go. He couldn't lace my boots on his best day. To be fair, some of my finer boots are slip-ons that don't have any laces, but you get the point. Anyway, Trey, I need you to take Tyler's place Ooh, against me. Le mec. I, I thought you said I wasn't ready. You're not, but I liked what I saw from you out there during Red's match, and also I don't have any other options. All right, I'll do it. First match. <laughs> do you want a picture to commemorate this moment? That'd be great. <laughs> Nailed it. I'll post it for you. Hashtag mm, gorgeous. <laughs> ah, C'est parti. Ah, ouais. il, est, il est grave chaud. Hein. Même quand je contre les coups, il n'y a pas moyen de... So, this is the surprise of the that winner has paid big bucks for? If you're a little confused, you're not alone. Allez, 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 allez. Allez voilà, on lui fait du mal. Allez patate. Voilà. On est collé. Elle a mis qu'il est au sol. Allez, les finisseurs, espérons que ça va passer. Oh, il a raté. Il a raté.
Elle est vraiment sur le ring. Finisher. Voilà, normalement c'est bon. Hein. Quoi Il a réussi à sauver Oh mon jeu, il croit qu'il a gagné, il va se faire déglinguer. Mais non, mais quelle imbécile everyone for coming out to the show and also it needs to be said that I had two students who had their very first matches tonight red who beat Peyton Royce earlier <laughs> isn't that incredible and now Trey who had a good effort on short notice but got a little bit ahead of himself will work on his counting Trey I'd let you have the mic but I think you might be a bit tongue-tied Give it up one more time for Trey. <laughs> What a night. I'm thinking Pavones to celebrate. Isn't that place super expensive? It's on me. Well, technically my parents, but we deserve it. <laughs> All right, I'm in. Now get that heat blasting. That's weird. The gas is full. I'll, I'll call them back later. Well, maybe they can help with the car. And we can tell them about our first matches. No. Hey, it's Red. You're on speaker. Oh, hi there. Are you visiting Denver at college? What? Uh, now's not really a good time. Why? Is something wrong? Or are you having car trouble? Yeah, we are. How, how'd you know that? Just hang up. Cut the crap. We remotely disabled the SUV because we know you're not at school. And we're pretty sure you never were. We got an alert about a substantial charge in Canada for something called Riley Flash's Wrestling Academy. And then after we looked into it, we discovered charges for the past few months, including a crazy hotel bill, gas, food, clothes, you name it. Do you know how disappointed I was when I realized I was going to have to return all those reward points? I was this close to a free trip. This close! It is not about the stupid points. We were hoping you'd come clean on your own about all of this, but I guess you're just gonna keep on lying. Hey, wait. Look, this is what I want to do with my life, and no matter how many times I told you that, you still didn't support me. So I was pretty much forced to lie. Would you rather I be miserable at school? Of course not, but you have to be realistic. You are never going to make it as a pro wrestler. There's a better chance of me dating a supermodel. Frank! Which is impossible because your mom is stunning, and I would never date anyone else. I will make it, and when I do, you'll wish you would have had my back before I was successful and famous. It's not too late to try to put all this behind us. We'll activate the SUV if you come home now. Then I can try to get you re-enrolled in school for next semester. You're gonna have to ship the car home, because I'm staying here to pursue my dreams. Maybe someday you'll understand that. What are you doing? You're gonna get yourself killed. I'd rather that happen than talk to you right now. Leave me alone. Sorry, but I'm not going anywhere. We set out to do this together, and this doesn't change anything. I mean, other than the fact we now don't have a car or somewhere to sleep, but... You know what I mean? I still want to do this if you do. I appreciate your loyalty, but you lied to your parents and me about what we were doing here. And you basically sat back and let me steal from them. Don't worry about the money, I'll pay them back. And I'm sorry, but you've always told me to take the advice from my birth parents' letter, right? About following my dreams? Well, that's all I was trying to do. You didn't need to lie to do that. It's the only way I could see this working. But I'll never keep a secret from you again, I promise. From now on, it's total honesty between the two of us, okay? You're gonna know everything, even how many times a month I shave my toes. You shave your toes? Weird. See? I'm an open book. So, no more secrets, okay? I know he said no more secrets. 
But you can't tell him ours. It will ruin him. Okay. No more secrets. So now what do we do? We're carless and without the credit card. Pretty soon we'll be homeless. I think our only option is to hit the road and try to make some money on the indies. But we'll have to start roughing it like actual up-and-coming wrestlers. You think we have enough cash for a new car? I wouldn't say new. Managed to get a used car that fell under our budget, probably because it also fell under various recalls and safety violations. Do we stick our phones in this slot? Nothing's happening. I think that's a tape deck. This car doesn't exactly have the latest features. Roughing it, remember? Right. So I'm assuming there's no Bluetooth. No, but I did find an actual tooth in the trunk. Shark or human? Human, I think. Lame. Well, now that we have our extremely safe and luxurious ride that may or may not have had a body in the trunk at some point, where to? We do have Wrestle in Memphis on the list. Assuming this piece of junk can make it that far, then I guess we're headed to the great state of South Carolina. That is where Memphis is, right? Close. Maybe I should drive. It's fine. I got this. Is that also a feature on older cars? Nope. Don't think so. Voilà les gars, c'est tout pour cet épisode-ci. En tout cas, on aura bien avancé dans l'histoire. Euh, J'espère que vous avez kiffé la vidéo. Elle était un petit peu longue. Je vous invite à mettre un like, un commentaire, un abonnement. Nous, on se retrouve pour la suite euh, au prochain numéro, au prochain épisode. Ce sera déjà le troisième qui va arriver prochainement. Donc, reste à l'affût. Ciao, ciao les gars. C'était Fredinho. Ciao, ciao.